CTALK1 and GPIO. Hi! In this tutorial we'll explain how to connect your open plotter device to a CTALK1 network and read the incoming data. For this you'll need a Raspberry Pi with open plotter installed on it, an instrument to read the data from, an optocoupler, a resistor of 4.7 kilo ohm and some wires. CTALK or CTALK1 is an old protocol created by Raymarine based on NMEA0183. It used to be very popular, and there are many devices still in use. The protocol is now replaced by NMEA 2000, and recently a new propriety standard came out called NMEA OneNet. An open source alternative that we'll use in this tutorial is Signal K. For the purpose of this tutorial we'll use a wind vane to read out the data, but any device using CTALK should work. CTALK uses three wires, connected in parallel to all devices on the bus, a black or gray ground wire, a yellow wire for serial data, and a red wire for power. As the CTALK network uses 12 volt, and our Pi needs a lower voltage for the signal, we need to use an optocoupler to protect the Pi from this high voltage. These optocouplers are cheap and can be bought for about 5 euro. You'll also need a resistor of 4.7 kilo ohm to connect to the ground wire. Once everything is connected, we can configure open plotter to read and display the incoming data using the GPIO pins on the Raspberry Pi. Start the GPIO application. If you haven't installed the GPIO app, you can use the settings app to install it. In the CTALK1 tab, you can add a device. Give it a name, select GPIO4 on pin 7 and select to invert the signal. Next we need to approve the device in Signal K. Make sure to give read and write permissions. Then hit refresh in the GPIO app. Now we can go to the dashboard, where the new device is automatically added. We can see the speed go up when I spin the anemometer. When I turn the wind vane, we see the direction change on the screen. I hope you enjoyed the tutorial. Thanks for watching and have fun with your project.